When I got home, I got the regular earful from my parents, and I was forbidden from going into the forest for a couple weeks. Normally, this would have devastated me, but after the encounter with whatever was in the cabin with me, I was happy being forced not to go near that thing. I would have never gone that deep in the forest ever again if it weren't for the nightmares. I had started having nightmares, visions of demons forcing people to gouge their eyes out and rip off their skin, then feed it to each other. Once I saw them kill my girlfriend, Hannah, God. It's hard for me to think of this, even now. They, they tore her lungs out through her back. After that nightmare, I knew I had to go back to that cabin if I wanted to have any hope of ridding myself of these horrible visions. But I am not going alone. I need to tell people about this. People who would actually believe me. I have to tell my best friends, Shane and Eric. Safety in numbers, right? I hadn't slept very much at all that week, so the days were beginning to blur together. But I knew that it was a Saturday because there was no school. And it was my birthday. It was also the day I was allowed back into the woods. I had already decided that I shouldn't tell Hannah. I didn't want to put her in danger. It was hard enough for me to ask Shane and Eric to come with me. Anyway, it was a surprise party, so I didn't know where it was. Shane came by in his car. Come on, you don't want to be late for your own party, he said. Alright, let's get going then, I guess, I replied, scratching my head, still groggy from a restless sleep. Alright man, get in the car, Shane shouted excitedly. Alright man, I said, still trying to wake up. I walked inside of his car when all of a sudden, all I saw was darkness. I flailed and shouted, but then I heard laughing. So dude, I'm blindfolding you, and it's a surprise where we're going. I noticed the voice was Eric. You almost gave me a heart attack, I shouted in response. I should have known, Shane and Eric always pull pranks like this, ever since middle school. Taking people out to factories in the dark, then tell them some cheesy ghost story while the other runs behind the victim screaming. So I just calmly waited to reach our destination. We're here, Shane said with a giggle as Eric led me out of the car. I took my shirt off and tied my hands behind my back. My thoughts were they were going to throw me into a shallow pool. But I was wrong. When Eric took off the blindfold and told me to open my eyes, I saw all my acquaintances and Shane and Eric with paintball guns. I heard Shane shout, Ready, aim, fire! Before I was shot constantly with the paintball guns. I ran up but they caught up with me. Finally, after about 20 minutes of running aimlessly in a part of the forest I was unfamiliar with, I broke free of the bindings they had put on me. Hey! I heard Shane shout from the top of the hill. Cease running or the girl gets it, he said, holding his paintball gun to Hannah's head. Sometimes Shane and Eric took it way too far, and this time I had had enough. 
I picked up the nearest thick tree branch and knocked them to the ground. A hero! Hannah said as she kissed me. I kissed back and that's what kept me from harming Shane and Eric anymore. Jeez, man, did you have to hit it so hard? Shane said, picking himself up off the ground. Yes! You took it way too far this time, man. You're lucky I didn't break your ribs. I shouted, still angry at him. Then I felt arms wrap around me. It's okay, sweetie. I'm not hurt. There's no need to beat anyone up over this. Hannah said in a soothing voice. I turned to face her. I had covered her jeans and t-shirt with multicolored paint. But she didn't care. She was just happy to be around me, as she hadn't seen me for a couple weeks. After Eric got up off the ground, the party went on. My girlfriend got us engraved rings with our names on it. Shane got me a really nice survival knife, and Eric got me a rock. He was always the one with the gag gift. We had fun. After most of the partygoers went home, I pulled Shane and Eric to the side. What's up, man? You seem really nervous. Shane said with a look of concern on his face. Listen, guys. I'm going to tell you something. I haven't told anyone. I said to them. What? You're coming out of the closet? Eric said jokingly. Shane punched him in the arm, realizing that I was truly afraid. I explained to them about the cabin the locked door, and the nightmares, even the dark spirit I feel following me now. Well, it's simple. We go and find a logical explanation for all this. Eric said loudly, but before I could tell him to be quiet, Hannah came to me. So, what's this I hear about finding a logical explanation? I tried to get out of it, but she was so smart. So, I explained once again. Well, what are we waiting for? Hannah said. I didn't try to get her to stay behind. I knew better. So we began walking in the forest, looking for the cabin. When we arrived, I felt the feeling of being watched grow much stronger. I gulped and Hannah grabbed my hand silently giving me the courage to go forward. Wow, man, this is creepy. Shane said as we approached the front door of the cabin. Yeah, I'll just wait outside. Eric said, shaking. Yeah, whatever. Just don't come crying back when it gets dark and scary in the woods and you hear an owl. Shane said. As we walked through the door, I think we all felt that dark being get closer, because we all began to shudder. It's this way, guys, I said as I led them into the kitchen. We didn't say much going downstairs, nor when we heard the footsteps. The walk down those stairs felt like an eternity. When we reached the bottom, I said, okay, let's bust this door down. Hannah, stand back. She agreed, and me and Shane attempted to break the door down. But as soon as we tried, the door burned our skin. In fact, it left blisters. Before we could figure out what to do next, we heard a blood-curdling scream coming from outside. Oh god, Eric, we gotta go. We raced up the stairs and outside. What we saw will never leave my memory. We saw Eric with his eyes gouged out and his entrails piled around him. Shane cried. He took it really hard. And I couldn't blame him. I cried too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I shouldn't have asked you to come here. I cried out when Hannah touched my shoulder tenderly. 
We should go, love. It's getting dark. She said in a comforting tone. Yeah, let's go. We can't stay here. Eric wouldn't want us to end up like this. Shane said. We all went home. I saw a dark silhouette of a man several times in the distance. I tried to ignore him. We made it home, and Hannah broke down crying. I let her sleep in my house tonight. Shane could barely move. He was so shocked. I let him sleep in the guest bedroom. And now, I have to go back for Eric. Whatever this thing is, I have to kill it.